and hello YouTube. Okay. Facebook ain't YouTube. YouTube ain't Facebook. Dave Smalley. Welcome to McGee's Garage. Tonight, I am attempting to complete the alignment of my table saw sled fence by using YouTuber LTD Woodworks five cut method guide. I, I, I've watched many and his is the clearest that I've found. And uh, basically we have four tiny cuts and then one measuring cut. This was the last cut I made, my A and B. And what I found, here I am measuring, feeling good, and all of a sudden I got this big bubble in here. I'm like, what the hell is that? So, first, I thought, because I only had one clamp, and this could tend to wiggle a little bit. So, I decided to add another clamp. In the process of hacksawing my way through this thing, I realized that this was rocking badly. And what I had in there, this was my pivot point. I had an inch and a quarter construction screw up in there that apparently my moving back and forth over here had loosened it up badly. And so now there's a two inch, I believe, in there. And it's now very solid, much more solid than it was. So I got to be careful with the length of screws that I use as I solidify all this. Okay, as I remember, all right, so again, this was the last cut, and this had this belly in it, so I was like, ah, stop. So I have not adjusted since that. I, what I did, I had my initial setup, I read the formula wrong and pushed this way some 40 thousandths of an inch, three business cards. And once I realized my mistake, where he had the pivot point here, and I have my pivot point here, I've now moved it backwards six. It was supposed to move 110 thousandths of an inch. And I have used six business cards to pull it back that approximate distance. <clears throat> so we have one, two, three, four, five adjustment holes pre-drilled here. We've already, we're on the third one now. I have two left before I have to deal with it. Okay, so let's take a look. Now that we have two clamps and a solid, much more solid and secure fence, let's, oh, I gotta lift the saw first. Get everything plugged in. Uh, I think I need to push this back this way, all the way. See that little latch there? That little safety feature that I wasn't using enough. Get this girl all the way up. Okay, everybody looks good. Plugged in here. And I need to plug in over here. Deke's garage is, uh, oh, look what I did, look what I did, you moron, I do some of the stupidest things, take your time, I should have had this plugged in before, okay, nothing's running, alright, so I didn't like what happened there, so let's redo all of that, let's come back up, uh, Let's go through the whole process. Where's my girl? Here she is. This thing is badly crooked. Badly. And so I will be rebuilding this shortly. The crooked part is, I thought I was drilling straight into this piece, but it ended up going down. Like, damn it. So every, it's all, does not meet my standards at all, period. Okay. Oops, now we, oh, that's right, I didn't balance that thing out yet. All right. Okay, let's take a look. 
again, I just want to make a shaving of this all the way down. Let's lock that. Well, let's lock it here first. Then let's get this touching it. Okay. Now let's unlock this and see what happens when we bring it over to stop. That's a good position. Okay. So I want to pushing this way so there's less tendency to flop around. Click. Ooh, that's not a very good lock. Got to lengthen it just a touch. I plan, oops, I plan to make longer probes or whatever you would call these shortly. Okay, so click, that's what I want, two clicks. Now this can go out of the way. This, because it's crooked, so I gotta get that all straightened up. Are we ready? I think we're ready. Yeah, and I gotta check, I gotta redo some stuff on the balance of this, so that's life. Okay, got the safety shield in place. Everybody's out of the way. Plugged in. Here we go. Gonna get loud. Gonna get loud. just to straighten the edges. Now I'll make it, a little, make it a little bit thicker so I can get a good measurement top and bottom. I see a big wedge. I think I see a big wedge. <laughs>
like it. Okay, something tells me I'm going to be doing adjustments for uh, four and five. Probably got to go to six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know. It's going to be a few. All right, let's get started. This is A, this is B. It's the old A. A, B. All right, again, we're using our micrometer. Very good for measuring down to thousandth of an inch. This. What have we got today? We have got 0.418. Okay, so A, 0.418. This is going to be 0.2 something. This is awful. And B. A and B distance apart is exactly 12 inches. And you may remember that I have a mark here exactly 24 inches, two feet from the pivot point. Oh boy, this is. This is terrible. Man, am I failing. Jeez. All right, so let's take a look at the spreadsheet for first work. All right. A is now point. Oh, I'm supposed to make copies of that shit. Not too bad. I don't care anymore. All right, so make a procedure. It's not following point. Four one eight. Oh, it did go completely to the other side. Oh, geez, I went too far. Point four one eight. Four one eight. Enter. And B is point two nine six. Point two nine six. Enter. How bad is it? We're down to 65 thousand positive. 65. 065. So plus 0.065. What the F does plus mean? Plus means move forward. So I moved it too far forward, too far back. Now I believe it's much more straight and secure. Uh, let's check that. So this is telling me that I need to move that way 60 thousandths of an inch. I don't believe you. I do not believe you. So I'm going to move in much smaller increments now. I trust the plus. I, I trust that that is correct now. I've got that figured out. I don't trust the 65 thousandths of an inch. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll be making a decision on that later. I'm going to leave that right there. Uh, let me double check the straightness of this thing. Oh. Well, I'd have to say that's straight. You're straight. Okay, I got no bubbles in it. Uh, that's, I like that one. 
This one should have a bubble in it. Well, that side looks straight. Yeah, there's the bubble. There's the bubble right there. Okay, so I, that's why I couldn't measure this one because there's a bubble in it. It's a big gap here. Okay, so let's throw this one away, put this back. All right, folks, uh, <clears throat> I think I'm making slow progress towards accuracy. I'm going to shut it down now. Remember, treat your micrometer like a baby. So I'm putting her in there so that she's protected from the elements. Uh, this is my last measurement. These are scrap. So it looks like I got a few more of these to do. All right, thank you for watching. Let's again, that's Dave Smully. The Geeks Garage. And we can end our live video. And there we go. All right, so much for Facebook. Hi, YouTube. I really appreciate you guys, okay? You woodworkers have really been teaching me cool stuff. Thank you very much. And again, I, I still want to give credit to the YouTuber, LTD Woodworks. I really appreciate the clarity of his methodology. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.